name Amy and this is my story. I'm 26, I love to do photography and I also have picked up playing golf. At age 10, I was diagnosed with type one diabetes. I kind of just wasn't really taking care of it. Like I wouldn't take my insulin, I wouldn't test my blood sugars. Like I remember I'd go with like months without testing my blood sugar. 15 years forward, I got stung by a bee and so I went in to have it checked for swelling and then they did like blood work and they found out that my kidney function was at 26%. November, I started to notice that my feet were kind of swelling. So in December, I noticed that I was getting really cold. In January, I got more blood work done. My kidneys had dropped to like 22% and so I went and saw a nephrologist, which is a kidney doctor. He's like, okay, well, you're in stage four of kidney failure and there's five stages, so your options are like either you need to be on dialysis for the rest of your life or you can get a transplant. And this was the first time that I had heard that they can do a kidney and a pancreas transplant. So I'd no longer be diabetic. He's like, but you can't get on the list until your, your kidney function is at 20%. Well, in March, my kidneys are at 20%. So by the end of May, I was a backup to the first, like the first person that would get the organs and if they didn't work out, it would go to me. And I didn't end up getting those. Well, I didn't get a call for three months. Well, the next call was in October and it was at 2.19 in the morning, but I ended up not getting those. End of November, I got another call. I didn't get those organs. January 5th, I got a call. Like at this point, my kidney function is probably around 10%. I didn't end up getting it. So at that point, like I was so sick. I was so tired. I was so sad. You know, I was just like all the emotions and my body was just like basically breaking down. And then January 7th was a Sunday and um, I got a call at nine in the morning that said, you are first on the list. We have another donor for you. And I was like, oh my gosh, Kay, this is crazy because I've never been in like the number one spot really. They called around like 1 p.m. and they said, okay, you can come into the hospital. We're gonna do all the testing and see you know, if you're ready and went down to the OR and kind of said my see you laters and I'll take the best six hour nap of my life and went back to surgery. And, I got done around 6, 6.30 in the morning and the surgeon came out and said everything looked really good. And then later the next day I went to my own room and I was in the hospital for about a week. But now I will be on um, anti-rejection drugs for the rest of my life. I'm four months since that and I am doing really well. And I'm not diabetic anymore, so it's pretty cool. I received the gift of life. Like, I'm doing so good and I'm so happy. Everything seriously is like perfect. There's nothing wrong and it's like knock on wood. I was really sad, obviously. Like I went and bought like a, tons of one pieces, but I'm like, you know what? Like, it's okay. If you have something cool like that, there's obviously a cool story behind it. So yeah, I, I like it now. It's definitely a part of me.